Hello and welcome to the Iceman channel. Today's topic is going to be the Chameleon Ultra command line interface, the CLI. How you download the repository, compile some software, and then actually run this Python CLI. Tag along! First of all, you need to make sure that your Chameleon Ultra is connected to your computer and I want you to take extra notice on the four green LEDs. I have noticed in my experiments that sometimes I plug out, disconnect or reconnect the Chameleon too fast, it gets stuck. Now my Chameleon is hooked up to COM port 7, so that's how it should look like. And then in the end of it all, you would need some software. And that software well, I need to see what all the thing is here, sorry about that. And that software, you're going to find it at GitHub and the RFID research group's Chameleon Ultra uh, repository. You will see a long, nice readme file and it will say support, 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 and uh, not yet implemented. Uh, whether the hardware support it, software support, and application layer. I think it's an interesting distinction between software and application layer. Because to me, those are the same. Now, the hardware support, I'm pretty sure, is because uh, the NRF5284 uh, chip supports all that stuff. And then the application layer, it says a lot of here, says not yet implemented. And it's going to make sense pretty soon. Now, to clone it, uh, you need to have an address. I use the SSH. And then let's jump in over to the terminal window. And in the terminal, do a git clone. We would copy data from the repository. Doesn't take long, it's a small repo. We we'll go into the folder and take a look. Well, in this video, we're not interested in the firmware building, neither in the hardware or resource. We are interested in the software. So let's get in there. We find two uh, folders, script and source. And if you look in the script, we find some Python with requirements. I'm pretty sure that this is the main CLI. But the presence of a source file makes me um, quite sure that we need to do the source first. Let's go in there. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's some uh, key recovery for the MyFair classic cards. You see a CMake file list here. And that's a strong indication that we need to do a build folder. CD build folder. This is classic CMake. And run the CMake command like this. It generates the make files and let's build it. It has some warnings. Um, but don't be too much alarmed about it. That's nothing to care about. This here doesn't like assignment. Is space implicit declaration? Uh, well, it still works. It's all linked into the Chameleon Ultra software binary MF key. All right, so we're not there. So the bind fields that we just compiled are not there. It's going to be in here. You see now that we have a new folder called bin, and if we look into it, we see all those uh, commands, executables. Uh, it's executables, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's executables to be run. Now, let's head into script. And it's a requirements text for Python people. Um, which means that we need to install it. And we do that the easiest way and it would be like this by running python -m pip install -r requirements. I've already done that, but you will not. Once that is done, I am going to run the indicated script here. And voila, we are greeted with a ASCII art. It's uh, kind of similar to a Proxmox client here. It's an indication offline, meaning that we're not yet connected over serial to the chameleon. 
So if I press enter, and press enter again, we see a free command groups available for it. And if I go up arrow and down arrow, that doesn't work. So that's gonna be needed to be fixed to smoothen out. Let's see, uh, if I go look in LF, we have only one type of tags available, that's the EM401X. So that makes sense when we looked at the repository and it said uh, not supporting my application layer. So it's not implemented yet, basically. Under HF, we find 14A and some MyFair things. I'm not gonna go into those functions, that's for next video. I'm more interested in the HW, that's the hardware category of commands. Now, connect Chameleon to serial port, device mode, emulation tag slot, restart. So if you want to flash it, you have to go on DFU, that's how we do it. But we are interested in the connect. And if I do dash H, it wants a port. And I, since we can't go up there, I have to type this again. And mine is dev titty seven. And now we see it's connected. And that's great. And the thing is, I can't run very much more now uh, in order to show you something. I can go for HV mode. It says die mode set. I want to get see what, what can I do there. So it's in device mode emulator. So the tag is there. Okay. It didn't care about the help text. So if I do mode set dodge H. Okay. So I can set it in reader mode or I can set it in emulator mode. All right, it's gonna be a lot of typing in this client. Oh, interesting. Now, with that said, uh, this video is done. Have fun exploring the CLI of the Chameleon Ultra, and let me know in the comments below um, what things that should be improved with it, or whatever you find. Have a good one.